Hey guys, this is Mr. Master Sword Guy, and here we are in my room. As you can see, I got it a little bigger, and I have this stuff. So, um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a portal into hell, or as the uh, Minecraft people like to call it, the nether. So, what I like to do is have eight buckets, and bucket some lava. And there we go. So as you can see, I have a diamond pick, and you're going to want it, and I'll show you why. And I got rid of the water that was going crazy over here. Make some buckets. And I got a bed. See? It's pretty cool. And a jukebox. Okay, so here's my infinite source of water. If you want me to make a tutorial of that, just ask me. Okay, so what you do, you make a 4x1 little area and put lava. Put lava in each little area so it's like full to the top and it's not like sloping or anything. Take one of these, take some from your infinite source of water, and put it right to the side of it. And then put that away. And here we have obsidian. So yeah. Now the reason you you need a diamond pick is because first of all, look how fast it goes, and look how slow it goes on obsidian. Okay, now I've heard with an iron pickaxe, I haven't actually tried it. It takes about a minute per obsidian block to mine it, and um, so I decided, you know what, I you, you really need the diamond pick for this. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. So to do this, um, you need 14 block or 10 blocks if you want to skip the corners but I want to just for show I'm going to use the corners and to make this video short I'm not going to get those other two I'll get them later perfect 14 obsidian so let's put all that stuff back and do not accidentally put obsidian in the wrong place because then you gotta mine it back. So we're gonna find a place to put our portal to hell. And since it's daytime, this is gonna be perfect. Look at that purpleness. So yeah, now we're going all the way back up to the surface. I'm probably gonna put it. And also, one other thing you can do, um, instead of making it so you have to jump into the portal, you can make it like right on ground level. So I'll show you how to do that with my diamond pickaxe. Ooh, I got some grass growing in my house. Kind of weird. Please no creepers, no creepers. Creepers, no creepers. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh wow. I know this isn't the proper tool for dirt, but I just wanna make this video short and I've got a diamond pickaxe. So Actually, we need something else. It's back in the mines. Oh no. That is less than dandy. Okay. So stupid. Oh, why did I even go up through this way? It takes so much longer. Okay. We're gonna use our shortcuts. Oh! Oh, perfect timing. Of course, I got it on peaceful mode so that if I. <laughs> yeah, call me noob. All you want. Oh, no, I already have it. Where's my flint and steel? There it is. Alright. Careful with this, because it will start fires. And if you're wondering, like, okay, um, those of you that have tried my online server, no, my online server, you, um, probably have realized that it doesn't work. That is because up here, hold on one sec, 
That's because of this right here. 1.3. The update screwed everything over. Like, it's completely messed up. Like, it says the server's outdated. So if you guys can help me with how to do that, then that would be great. Please work. Why is that working? Four, one, two. This is stupid. I can't get it to work. Do you like the bot? Oh! We just made a portal to the nether. Let's go inside. Oh snap. We have just entered the nether. Well guys, that's how to make a portal to hell, and we're going to see some hellish gameplay. Let's find it. This place looks friendly. What are these? Mushrooms? In hell. I've heard there are these floating jellyfish things and I've seen them, but since I've gone peaceful, I can't see them.